Saint Epimachus of Pelusium was an Egyptian martyr. Epimachus was born in Pelusium, and worked as a weaver along with his two companions, Theodore and Kalinikos. At age 27, he heard that Ulamus the governor of Egypt was torturing the Christians. He subsequently went to El Bakra, near Demera, and came before the governor, confessing his Christianity. Ulamus the governor tortured him severely, then ordered him to be squeezed on the wheel. A drop of his blood splashed on the eyes of a blind maiden, and she was able to see instantaneously. The maiden and her family converted to Christianity and were martyred by Ulamus. Furious, the governor ordered Epimachus to be crucified and his head to be cut off. The executioner drew his sword but his strength failed. The same thing happened with another executioner, and so with fourteen others. When they failed to cut off his head, they tied a rope around his neck and dragged him until he died. A deaf and mute soldier touched the body, and he instantly heard and spoke. Some of the Christians from the city of Edku took the body and several signs and wonders took place from it. His kinsfolk from Demera carried the body to Paramoni, Coptic, with great honor. The governor of Paramoni shrouded the body with expensive shrouds and built a church after St. Epimachus, where the body was placed. The feast of St. Epimachus of Pelusium falls on 14 passions in the Coptic Orthodox Church, and on 14 October in the Eastern Orthodox Church. References Coptic Synaxarian